Nick Fuentes, you know him as a, what I read, a neo-fascist clown, Nick Fuentes star, can't stop humiliating himself. Now, he is obviously a bit of a right-winged guy who believes women are, you know, second and uh, smell like shit, probably. But something that caught my eye, which I think is kind of hilarious, look at this. <laughs> The man has been arrested. I mean, I'm not too sure what for, but we're going to find out. Look at that mugshot. I mean, he looks like Stalin 2.0. Maybe if Adolf Hitler had a kid with, you know, an anti-Semite or something like that, that would be what this guy looks like. He's, you know, he should have shaved the tash off, got rid of that. That's already minus 10 points. He is clearly leaning on the right. And, well, I don't know too much about him. I've seen some of his bad takes and that he thinks women are number two and that he hates... Algerians or African people, he thinks they are dumb. But you know, as as God once said, karma will come and kick you in the face like a kangaroo because look at this fella here. The mugshot is just beautiful. He looks absolutely like a little white boy caught out of place. I mean, my God, my God. So on December 6th, the notorious far-right racist anti-Semite was charged with battery outside his Illinois home. So he lives in home, is shoved to the ground by the scrawny white supremacist. <laughs> He was booked for, on the misde misdemeanor count at the... That's crazy. So he, so he actually got a misdemeanor. I thought in America, you know, you can shoot someone if they're on your property. Can you not, like, get an RPG out GTA style and blow them sky high? I mean, I thought that's what you could do. But he basically walked to the station lobby on 27th. He was escorted to the booking area. He was searched for weapons and fingerprinted after signing a criminal c citation and notice to appear in court on 7th. He was escorted back to the public publicly accessible lobby and release so he would you know marla rose is f so a 57 year old woman he he, he spray painted and threw to the floor told cops that after seeing an online fuentes post in regards to women's rights you get your body my choice wow he said that that's ballsy she decided to record a video of fuentes boy in property while recording rose said a female passed by and encouraged her to speak with nick and so she rang the front doorbell i mean if you go to someone's house you are asking for trouble but i mean you know he is a, a, a piece of shit douchebag but it's just hilarious how um he, he's finally got his mugshot. I mean, that is just amazing. I love looking at this. It makes me so happy. He looks like a little depressed little chihuahua who's not been given a treats for the morning. Oh, I'm so sad. Turns out nobody like me. Look, <clears throat> maybe he says some interesting things, but I don't really care. He's got a, a big audience. I mean, you know, it's, it's a bit worrying considering, you know, he is this far right christian king and yet he's just been arrested got his mug shot and then he's put free me n-word <laughs> i mean this guy just is an absolute clown he clearly has no chill israel and the united states are literally helping isis and al-qaeda take over syria right now i don't know how he said that <laughs> I mean, he's a fucking idiot. What, what's he even talk about? Let's delve deep into Nick. So have you been in a relationship with a woman? No. So how are you telling other? <laughs> so he's not, you know, he's he's not in ever been in a relationship with a woman, which is unsurprising. I mean, a people how to behave towards women. You yourself have really not had any you, actual physical, you know, interaction with them in a romantic capacity, or in fact, in any capacity. If you are looking to some other regimes around the world that do think that women are half the value of a man, I have to question what kind of a person who's had no experience with women so, is yeah, in a position. He's, to... he's got no experience with women. He's probably never spoken to women. This is probably the first time a woman sat so close to him, and they're probably on the opposite side of a table. It'd be interesting what his parents like i mean was he taught this was he told that women are number two or is he just sort of adopted that watching i don't know a, a film and tv and said well the women are always number two and the guy is always the guy who saves the day just to, saying you know basically promote these ideas well i'm having an experience with a woman right now <laughs> and i've had lots of experiences with women in my life not uh, romantically per se but you know I've, I've talked to enough women i've been and you know i've known enough women to know he's basically saying he's a virgin he has never had before and he thinks women are does he imagine this like if he ever finds a woman and you know you just got to pretend you're number two he thinks he is so above you and better than you is fucking oh, sort of what's going on <laughs> we how many times did we tell you these are all like these insult clowns these right wings anti-semitic racist clowns they, they can't get laid that's the number one source of their frustration and when i say that they're going to be even more mad but guys you're not like you think you're so special and you have some special problem. No, we all couldn't get laid when we were younger. But, mm -hmm. but we didn't get go weirdo and be like, oh, yeah, then I hate black people. What? Women shouldn't have rights. <laughs> right. No, that's not the solution to your problem. And you're not helping yourself, by the way. Yes, that's so not going to So he actually thinks like women are number two and that they shouldn't have any rights. Um, 
uh, you know that they he that he's better. <laughs> well, you know, he's a well I'm not just some guy that just has some wagey job. White nationalist. <laughs> I'm not. I'm more creative. And no, there's anything wrong with having a wagey job, but I, I'm a creative person. I'm a leader. I have an important role in this. I have lots of responsibilities. I I, I don't have the same priorities. I don't have the same life. As, uh, as somebody that isn't doing this. I couldn't be doing this if I was like that. So, anyway, How did so, this yeah. guy so get I've... a follower? I'm so confused. I need to go back to his page. He had like 500K followers. This guy, you know, he's, he's developed a real backing. You know, he's on Rumble. That should tell you all you need to know. I mean, Rumble's where all the grumbles go. That's where all the fucking bad people go when they've got nowhere else to turn to. Left, right, good night, no. You're accepted in no communities whatsoever. You go to Rumble. I mean, this shit's... Mad shit. So he's basically just a right wing Semitic. He's got what he deserved. He's in jail. It's kind of hilarious. He's got a battery charge. I don't think he'll go to jail, unfortunately, but hopefully he has to do a lot, a lot of community service. Now, what do you guys think of this gentleman? Do you think he's uh, an inspiration to children, or do you think he should be locked up for being a fucking mongrel? Now, I, I'm, I'm a mongrel. I admit it, but he's a racist and a mongrel. You let me know, boys.